Bloop bloop everyone, welcome back to Caves of Cut. Chiller name is still our character. Uh, I don't know how it's still our character, but we are still alive. Um, and we gained a new level and therefore unstable genome kicked in and we get burgeoning now, is what we've decided, I think. So, apparently it will murder me in high levels because it fills the screen and destroys everything, I don't know. We'll see about that, but can grow plants spontaneously. So, gained the level, gained two extra hit points because of our toughness, skill points because of our intelligence, mutation point, attribute point. Attribute point is nice because I think I will put that into willpower because at level six, if we ever get there, we'll get a, a point for free and that'll help. So let's put that into this and therefore everything is on a break point. So if we ever reach level six, which is very unlikely, but... Then we will get plus one and everything uh, in the real modifier, you know, this one, this modifier. This just means not much. Uh, it, it enables some some skills you can get, but this is the important one. Um, okay, what's the active effect that we have? We're bloody. Well, that's great. Um, we have psychic migraines. We have burgeoning at level two, which we can look at as well. So... On this rank, we have a range of 8, area 3 by 3, plus growth into adjacent tiles. A cooldown of 95 rounds, which is a lot. So this is more of a help me out thing at the moment. Next level will be 85 rounds, so a little bit less. And more powerful plants are summoned. Okay. So this is at a plus 1 because of our ego modifier. So as I said... Mutations get increased or get get better via your ego, and we may not advance this mutations rank yet. Okay, so we can't put our mutation points in there. Can we still, if we have four mutation points, get another mutation, or is that impossible because of the unstable genome? Can we not buy any? Is buying is buying still an option? I mean, it's still there down down on the screen, but is that still an option? Also, we should look into skill points right now. We can, okay. Okay, that's good. Um, otherwise, wait. Let us look at skills. We haven't looked at skills at all so far. Well, not much. So we could learn cooking, which is nice. Cooking is really nice. Can do some good stuff for you. Customs and folklore. Not really that interested in that right now. Persuasion. We can intimidate. We try to terrify adjacent hostile creatures. Which we should probably do as well. On success, a frightened creature flees from you. So, if we need... <sighs> sacrifice a round, but um, we might want to do that sometimes. You can and should. Okay. Okay, that's good. I mean, of course I should if I can, but I, the important thing was... Can I still if I have four points? And I, if I can, that's great. Um, you shame a nearby creature, giving it a penalty to avoidance. Okay, that's good. Ego, willpower, and quickness. That's pretty good. So we could go more into these. What's inspiring presence? Embolden your companions, okay. Um, we, could get, we could get wayfaring, which helps us to not get lost as quickly. Then we travel the, the world map quicker. But what I'm interested in right now is either cooking or... We have a pistol. That could be something. Get steady hand. A Kimbo, if you wield multiple guns, you fire a shot with each of them whenever you make a range attack. That's pretty nice. Not that we need that right now. We only have one. We want to. If we can get two revolvers, that would be great. And also enough ammunition for those. Um, we are wearing a sword. So, you can get special things. With axes, you can dismember enemies, so you can l hack limbs off. Limb could also be the head, as far as I know. And therefore, you know, make them less good while you're attacking. With, um, I know a few. With long blades, and we have a long blade, that's our, that's our sword. Um, you can penetrate better. And since that does multiple, ti uh, multiple times the damage, that would be great. Right? And you also get some special things here, like lunge, which uh, through an empty space and an opponent, and attack at plus two penetration. You must move through the empty space, defensive stance, attack an opponent, then lunge backward. Oh, that's nice. 
dueling stance. There are different stances that I haven't ever tried. So that would be a thing. We also have a dagger, so that's a short blade. So one hand one-handed knives and blades. Um so also short swords, which can, for example, have jabs. And this is one of the one of the two skills that works with four arms, actually, because it says natural and mutated, but not robotic hands. So uh, when you wield a short blade in your offhand, you make offhand attacks twice as often. This bonus applies to organic hands, natural and mutated, but not robotic. Robotic. So this would work with four hands, which is pretty nice, actually. Um, tinkering would also be an interesting thing. Tinkering gives us the ability to, as it says, examine, build, repair, and mod artifacts, which is pretty nice. We could make ourselves a recycling suit. For espers, I like going excess for dismembering faces. Oh, couldn't you? There is an achievement if you wear your own face, your own your own dismembered face on your on your face, being true to yourself or something. Uh, first aid could be interesting. During each round you spend healing, you regain 5% of your maximum HP. If you take any action other than pass or you are attacked, the healing process is cancelled. If you spend 5 turns setting a limp, you may remove the crippled status effect. If you take any action other than pass, you are attacked. Or you are attacked, the setting process is cancelled. Um, endurance, shake it off. We could have swimming, so less penalty. Each round you are dazed or stunned. You have a toughness minus 10 chance to take sh uh, to shake off the effect. You also take 25% less damage from poison, which is nice. So we don't have a rifle, unfortunately. Oh, I wish. I, uh, I found in Joppa once. A really nice bow that doesn't need arrows. The Electro Bow, or however it's called. That one was really good. And that had a fidget cell, which I could just refill by putting it on my arm and fight some things with my... Well, well what it was on my arm. And that thing would, would rewind itself. Really, really cool. If you like dodge, we should get our acrobatics. Yeah, that's also a thing, right? Again, a plus five bonus to your dodge value when flinching away from missile attacks. Plus two bonus just for dodging. You jump into an unoccupied square within range two. You cannot jump over a square occupied by a creature. Whatever that does. Will they still get an attack while I do this? I don't know. Tumble, you gain a plus one bonus to your DV additionally. Juke's cooldown is reduced to 20. Whatever Juke is. This is just permanent bonus to your DV. Agility and juke, whatever juke is. Um, so we could get some of that. This is just flinching away from missile attacks. It's good. Less missile attack chance, but still. Okay, let's do this. And then save some points. Um... Because what I want is, I want to go into cooking. I think we should do that and get some meal preparation. That's why I can't make a meal, because I, I don't know how to cook. Okay. It's not that I didn't have anything. Uh, we need to wait here for a sec. Okay, we are back at full health, this is on which is only 20. That's not much, guys. At least the croc is dead. What the... Oh, God, no. I'm... Oh, no. I didn't see that, really. A gelatinous wedge. Um, that's bad. We're getting digested right now. Please don't kill me. Oh god, I'm dead. Well, we were eaten by a gelatinous wedge. Isn't that fun? <laughs> um, that went much quicker than I thought. See how you can be stupid and get killed? I mean, we would have get gotten killed either way. We ha didn't have a ranged weapon. We didn't have any mutations that could have helped there, I think. I could have tried to proselytize this, I guess. Don't know if that would work. Burgeoning, I should have actually tried. <laughs> While I was in there, I didn't even think about that. Well, and this is our summary. Rip, chiller name. Um, 
you were killed by a gelatinous wedge. But, you know, it's fine. We're not saving this. New game it is. Let's try it again. New character. We'll try another mutated one, I think. We haven't done much. So what should we choose, guys? Tell me. What's the one we should go for? Let's do something different now. I'm not going to use Unstable Genome. I'm not going to use Esper. Once it absorbed you, it was all over, yeah. And it would have done that ever. I, I mean, I could have, if I, if I would have recognized it as what it is. Um, I could have used the plants to just put in his way. I should have done that, but... A Marauder Chimera. Sure, let's just try it. Let's see how that goes. Marauder Chimera, what should we take? Um, you guys wanted me to have the tonic problem. I'm not sure if that's so good, but we'll try. So we have a few more points. We have 15 points to spend. So we can only have physical mutations. There are no mental mutations we can take, which is, again, sad because I like the light bending. Um, we could just put five points again in unstable genome, but I think it's not the greatest. I want night vision. That's a must-have. That is a must-have. We could have quills, for example, but that uh, doesn't allow you to have armor, to have body armor, which is bad, because the quills are not that good. Regen you won. Never take a regen. Your full natural healing rate applies in combat. 20% faster natural healing rate. 10% chance to regrow missing limb. That is really nice. 1% chance to remove a minor physical debuff. I mean, sure. What else sounds nice? Spinneret sounds really nice. It could be triple jointed, gives us more agility. Depends on what we get, you know. If we could have, if we could be a gunslinging, four-armed, triple jointed person, that would be really cool. But we don't know if we get a gun, because we started. No, we started as a marauder. We're strength based, right? So we should actually get the double muscled instead, because we could daze an opponent, which is really strong. We could we get more strength. I think that's what we want. Heightened hearing? I mean, yeah, we don't have the other detection. Detect the presence of creatures within a radius of five. And chance to identify nearby detected creatures. Sure, why not? Should we also get heightened quickness? Then we could still get a beak or photosynthetic skin is nice. Does thick fur prevent you from getting... No, it's just resistance. It's not even armor. Sad. Doesn't prevent you from wearing armor, though. Which is nice. Uh, we need to spend all of these, right? We can't leave something or we'll lose it. We could go... Maybe one in unstable genome. And then take something that's two. Yeah, like photosynthetic skin. I do like this, actually. You can bask in the sunlight instead of eating a meal to gain a special metabolizing effect for one day, 30% natural healing rate and 15 quickness. While in the sunlight you accrue starch and lignin. Lignin is the thing that makes wood into wood, actually. That hardens it and that makes... That, that is a difference to wood and, and... What's the other one in English? I don't know. Uh, the outer parts of a tree, not the bark but between bark and wood. Um, that you can use as ingredients in meals you cook. Neat. One dodge value. And that's also pretty good, actually, because you will always have these. So with every meal you can do it. So you, what, if you make special meals later as, as, you be, as you become a better cook, you will always have this. So it's really easy to make good meals. If you take Unstable Genome, you'll get more limbs. Right, yes. That's actually that's actually good. So we don't need to take that now. I'll take uh, photosynthetic skin and one unstable genome. I still don't know 
one extra mutation each time you buy this. So, that didn't proc, did it? We had the choice of three random mutations. Oh, wait. So, if we put five in here, we have the chance that f for five, five times, whenever we level up, we get, a, we get the choice of three muta mutations, but then it stops. Or how is that? How can I understand this? But yeah, Chimera has a special thing. Whenever you manifest a new mutation, one of your choices will also cause you to grow a new limb at random. But only one of your choices? What if I don't want that choice? Weird. It's only once. If you take... Uh, so if I, if I take this, we will have one time the chance of 33% to get a random mutation. To get one of three. Hmm. Hmm. It's too much randomness if you ask me if you only go for one stable genome. But let's have this. It's fine. I think we'll try this. We'll try this out. Let's see how it, how it feels. The regeneration will probably be good because we are purely... Purely strength based right now. So, let's at least go to 19 because we need a lot of strength. I w still want everything on 16. I don't like just going into one heavily. I don't like having negatives. Sorry, it's a me problem. Uh, ego goes for all mutations, not only for mental ones. Is that correct? No, it's only mental mutations. So we don't actually need that much ego, maybe. Penetrate opponent's armor, how much damage your main attacks do, ability to resist force and your carry capacity, which is nice, but... So we can never have mental abilities, so ego is not important at all, but I think agility would be important. And definitely intelligence is always important, it's just a given. We don't have enough to go to 19, unfortunately. Um... may go down a bit here and bring again most of these to 17 and go to 19 here I think that's better but we do I do want the ability to go into agility uh, if we find some weapons and agility is the stopgap to get better better skills there so we'll see about that okay what's the name guys that is an interesting character, and very weird. What's the name? Oh, Bearhead again? Oh god, terrible hamster. I don't know why you are so infatuated with Bearhead, but sure. You were first. It's the infamous Bearhead. Why, why doesn't it submit it? What's the problem there? I press enter to submit. Ah, you need to be on the button. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to start in Dropper again. We haven't seen much. Unfortunately, we had such a good start with the two two trinkets there. Uh, this time it's the first of Nivun Ut. Uh, we arrive and the rest is the same. So we can just skip this. Oh, look at that. Mehmed is back. <laughs> Uh, you can go to the world map by pressing yes, so. What the frick happened? Oh, I didn't see who I, I thought I thought I'm that guy because last time we looked at we looked like that, but this time we're green boy with a hat, weirdly enough. Um let's see why we have a hat. Uh, that's the wrong one. We have furs with us. Oh, not great. We are left-handed. Can I make this my... I want to be right-handed. Uh, this one. There it is. We have a bronze battle axe with us. That's it. That's literally... Oh my god, this is a bad axe. But, you know, it's an axe. An axe can dismember if we get the skill for it. And this is all we have, guys. Oh my god, we have nothing. We have some bear jerky, which is cute. I don't like using torches. I don't like them. Well, let's talk to this guy first. Uh, let's just go through it. I mean, we did this already. I want to do this quest at some point because it gives an achievement. And also, it's a quest I've never done. 
Okay, that's not useful. How are you looking, buddy? Hated by the Merchant's Guild. That's not good. I don't think I want to I wanna be hated by the Merchant's Guild. So that's not nice. Uh, let's just do the auto exploration for now. So we see where we find some nice loot. You will of course complete the game with such an awesome name. Of course. 100%. There's nothing else that could happen. What I find sad is that this text is not blue. With chest hole, this text would be blue to indicate that that is a new thing we learn. But I don't think it was different. It can give you these texts, and if something is painted, also it can do that. Uh, because every painted item that you can see, and you cannot see it visually, you need to l look at it with L. Um, with the look function. Uh, but that's good because exploration actually should trigger that. Like it did with the shrine. But every painted item can have some history of the world, and then you might even get some interesting uh, places that you can visit you know, to explore. Don't don't kill that fish. People really don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, let's go down here. Close that. Wait. No, I don't want to sleep. I want to look at this. There's graffiti in here. I thought it it the heads of the new something unusual with wonder. So that was an import an important one. That's why the game didn't use auto explore to show me maintenance security card. That thing is new. Paper thin access card which will open some doors in the depths of cud. Interesting. Okay. Not the greatest loot so far. Nope, I want... Thanks. Uh, we got one weird artifact and an iron battle axe. That is good. And as you can see, that has a plus one modifier. So it will always do one... Uh, two damage. Always. Which is pretty nice. Does the cat... Does the cat... Uh, tell on me? I think it could. Hmm. We have Butcher, which is nice. We have Dismember. That is an active ability, actually. Oh. Yes, it does. Ah, oh, fudge. Move it, cat. Get out of here. Can I slap it or something? Well, I can pet it. Would you? And I'm starting to glow, which is great, but could you please leave, cat? Damn stupid cats. So I don't like cats. They're just annoying. Hello, bird. We haven't... Oh, we haven't talked to the mo a merchant last time. That is stupid. I'm Bearhead. Who are you? It is a pleasure, friend Bearhead. I'm Tam. Do you live here? Drop us my home. Yes. Once I walked uh, the Mograi like so many of my brethren, but upon meeting Elder Irodad, knew at once to settle down here. You will understand, friend, if you speak to him. Now, what kind of creature are you? I'm a dromad, friend. A salt strider. My people have walked the salt for for thousands of years, meeting every creature that lives and thinks. You will not find better, more resourceful traders in all of Cut than we. Totally forgot about this guy last time. Um, what's your trade thing? Some arrows. He has lead slugs. We could have gotten back here and you know, gotten some slugs last time. But the run was doomed anyway. If, if the game cannot build the areas, it's really bad. A fork-horned helm. If we could afford this, I'd definitely take this one. Because now we don't have the migraines anymore. This leather armor is better than what we had last time. Nylon body pack. Really good. That can give you... Uh, no, that's not what I want. Uh, I want this. A large moss-colored back equipped with shoulder straps and a hip belt. Really good carrying capacity. Spectacles are useless as far as I know. It's not like in in Dark Days Ahead where you can get glare, I think, if you don't have sunglasses. That is an artifact. Oh my god, is 1700 bucks? I would trade the helm for the maintenance card, can we? Ooh, that's 70 worth. Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, that's good. We'll do that. Anything else in here? Can we look at the engra engraving? Oh, we can! That's nice. 
where we get it as well. Uh, engraved. This item is engraved with the scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Yuxes in 3659 BR. Does anyone know what BR means? Before something? The rupture or something? I don't know. Yuxes appointed uh, a corrupt administrator as minister of Spring City State of Tumrod. He mandated the practice of adorning oneself with jewels in Yuxes' name. 50 reputation with the ivory wraith brood. Whatever that is. And we got the Springs of Tumrod. Nice, we actually got that. That's pretty cool. Good to know. Also will be in our journal now. Iron Longsword. Steel Battle Axe. Before Reshef. Ah, I see. Okay, before the last Sultan. That is such a good rifle. Oh god, is that an amazing one. Because... It has medium accuracy. Uh, the musket only has low. If we could have this rifle, that would be amazing. Nine penetration. Really nice. Copper nugget, water skins, drams of honey. I don't need the drams of honey. But I'd like to have some more water. So I'll think we will definitely trade this. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, for the helmet. At the very least. But I do like that rifle. We don't have anything for that, though. We don't have enough. Or even the steel battle axe would be nice. I think we'll use the copper nuggets. We, we need some more water. I think the electro bows are the best. Oh, I wish we could have that one. I found one in, in Joppa at w uh, once. Got a long way with a build made around having one. Took me a while to find one, though. Yeah, that's the problem. Finding that thing is kind of impossible. Uh... The wooden arrows, they weigh something, I think. I don't, don't need them. Oh, no, it's fine, though. So, 90 drams against 71 drams. It's down here if you're uh, a little overwhelmed by the screen. So This is what we offer, and this is what he will offer us. And he has to split the difference, then. Pony up the difference is what it's called. Uh, I think the leather armor would be good if we could take that. Question is where we find something better. We haven't looked at everything, I think. Because of the stupid cat. But it's not that much more money. I think I'm taking it. It doesn't matter if we lose some, some money here. It's fine. I think. We'll find good stuff if we survive. And I wish we could have the steel battle axes. Two of them? Oh, that would be nice. Two of them plus the rifle. That's our goal, I think. For now. Okay, I offer this one with O, and he has to pony up four drams, which is fine. We will we'll probably uh, drink that very soon. Um, thank you, buddy. That was a very good trade. And the cat is out. Perfect. And yes, I want to get rid of these furs, and I want to get the leather armor, because already we got our um, evasion back. I think that was worth 14 drams of water. Uh, and there's the four-corned helmet. Oh, this thing can do damage as well. I didn't even didn't even recognize that. Um, the moss strewn antlers of some great elk appear to have grown from atop this ageless leather helm. Weapon class short blades causes bleeding on critical hit. On penetration, this weapon causes bleeding. One damage per round. Safe difficulty 29. That's a lot. Uh, I think. And we get reputation with antelopes of the goat folk. You only get that when you wear these. So be aware of that. Nothing for anything else, unfortunately. We have the Iron Battle Axe. Definitely want that axe here. No, that's the wrong one. Thanks. There, and then this. Perfect. So we have two axes. That's fine. Uh, the Iron Battle Axe has better penetration, which is good. We don't have any missile weapons right now, which is scary to me. We can throw torches around, which is great, but no. Um, what we also have is a weird artifact that we want to look at. Defoliant grenade, just the usual. That's fine, we can give that to Argive. Uh, and also, stupid cat is gone, so we can do this. Please give me something good. Uh, that's all garbage, okay. Sadly, only garbage. Already looked at this one, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's fine. Nothing in that, no. If I store something in there, it's theirs again, so we'll probably not. 
So, buddy, how do you look today? Loved by the Fellowship of Wardens, admired by Joppa, seekers of, sightless, of the sightless way. Don't know those. For releasing snakes into their camps. I think this is fine. I think I'm going to do the water ritual with him. Increase by 100 to minus 50. Oh, we're really bad with Joppa. And we really hate it by the seekers of the sightless way now. We were hated before, so it doesn't make much of a difference. We could look at that. And also what that does... If we do this... Oh, do we have something to trade? Copper nugget, useless. Um, where do we look at that? If we go here... So, antelopes don't care about us, but, uh, but aggressive ones will attack us. We aren't welcome in the holy places. Everything here has a holy place, or multiples. Apes, we're really, really hated by the children of Marmon. Cragmensch. <laughs> Why is there German in here? Mensch is human. Dogs love us. I mean, of course they do. Cats are stupid, as we see. As we can see here. No one likes cats. They just like us. But only the docile ones won't attack us. And they won't usually let, let us pet them. And we are not welcome in the holy places. But dogs are the best. And we love them, and they love us. It's great. Equines, really dangerous. Fellowship of Wardens doesn't like us that much. Aggressive members will attack. Fish don't like us. Gersh don't like us. Whatever the Gersh are. Glow Whites. Oh, the Goat Folk doesn't like us. Well, that's sad. Raising Hedonists luckily are fine with us. Hermits. Oh god, we have really bad reputation with most things. Ouch. Mopango. Uh-huh. Whatever that is. The pariahs. The Putus Templar. Yeah, they will murder us forever. They, they, Those are the fanatically against mutation faction. And I've seen some of those. And they hit me once and I was dead. Well, the good one did. The the crappy the crappy ones. The squires I could beat. But not the not the good one. Maybe the Kragmans are German. And that's what they prefer to be called. I mean, maybe. I guess. So I should go to them. Because they're probably good boys. Being a German myself. Uh, trees don't like us. Well, that's not nice. Unshelled reptiles, the villagers of yada yada. Joppa actually doesn't like us. It's weird. The water barons, winged animals. Fine. Well, uh, you're not interesting anymore. Let's talk with you. Yeah, tell me everything about Joppa. Cud, thanks. Uh, talk to me again. Let's see what the Elder has. Love by Joppa. Hated, hated, hated. Oh god, what a bad roll. I'd like to have harvesting, though, without paying the points. But it's hated, so it's minus 100. It's not disliked. 100 points for 300 points is not good. So, sorry about you. 30 yards. These are books. Uh, I think, as far as I know, the white books are random generated. Text, which is complete bobbledygook. It's really bad. Uh, and the yellow ones are the good ones. The, the ones that are really written. Okay, here yeah, it doesn't have anything that interests me. Could get rid of the fur um, that we have. It's hard to get the Kragmanch on your good side, but not impossible. Would be funny side goal. Yeah, if, if that would ever come to play. Um, sure, I'm gonna do this quest. Why not? Let's trade. You only have your stupid verses. That's fine. I can't proselytize anymore. I should have done this with this guy and tried last time, but oh well. Oh, there's also a secret thing here? A stone crack is revealed to the vest. To the west, but I don't know what this stone crack does. A cleft in the red stone opens to a water spray of un under earth. Can I jump into that or something? I don't know what to do with that thing. I found that, but that's about it. Well, hey, Argive, how are we doing? Uh, where's Ar why is Argive gone? Argive, no! Argive, stay! Stay, you! Argive left. Oh no, he's back. What the heck happened there? Something got killed? Yeah, we know this one. I'll bring you a knickknack. Hey, I have a knickknack for you. 75, good. 
Sure. Another knickknack. And can we trade? Data disks are for new blueprints, I think, that we can make. Basic toolkit is what we need for that. Uh, I could sell him this. Not that I get much more out of it, but... Sometimes it's good to have these trade goods because they don't weigh as much as the water, usually. Will he pony up the drams? Yeah. Sure. I just want to get rid of that thing, so that's fine. He gave me some stuff. I don't have a knickknack for him, unfortunately, so we need to go to the east now and get one. Oh, it's stairs. Should we... He murdered the six day. What? Did he? Where's that thing? Where's that zealot? Or where was that zealot? Is nothing left? The zealot yells, yada yada yada. Where was the zealot when he killed him? There must be something left of him. I want his book. Goddamn religious people. I can't find him. Sad. Apparently nothing left of him. Don't know why he murdered him? Probably don't ask. If this is stairs, we shouldn't go down there, right? Right? That'd be bad. And probably very deadly. Right? Is that correct? Hmm. Also something I haven't looked at. Um, there's a sign here. An ancient painted terracotta sign. It reads to graveyard and shrine. So we could go here and look at that. Let's just... Do it? Oh god, you just want me to die again and welcome. I'm a. I make robots. Ah. <laughs> Good name. Nothing to explore, nothing interesting here. Rest in peace, crushed to death by falling el by a falling elder tart beard gland. Thank you for the welcome. I mean I played this game a little bit few years ago, but yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thrown from a cliff by the moss green emerald host. How nice. Fell from a cliff trying to recover a lost weird artifact. Sad. Succumbed to despair after losing a set of grave goods. Became obsessed with this disquisition on the malady of the mimic and forgot to eat. That happens to all of us, right? Knocked over a flashbang grenade. Well, that shouldn't kill you. But if you say so, injected one self-injector too many, that might happen. Died of natural causes, no. Come on, that's impossible, this is cud. There are no natural causes. Killed in a duel over Vibro Dagger. See, that makes more sense. Um, otherwise, the shrine is probably not important. We could desecrate it. Depicts a significant event from the life of ancient Sultan Yuxus. Oh, we actually had this one. That's why. With the city-state of Tumrod. Okay. We got that from the blade. Okay, let's go. Nothing important here, apparently. I d I'm, I'm scared of the stairs, guys. Oh, something is stuck? Wait, what is this? Is this asphalt? Yes, it's asphalt. Liquid pools into a cistern of air and ground. Adds simple taste-based or simple stability-based effects to cooked meals. You can eat asphalt in this one. I mean, we're mutated, right? That's probably why. Nothing else to explore. Hey, fishy. I need to murder your face. Anything left of you? No. Just a corpse. Die. Well, we're doing good damage for now. A lot of strength. That thing gets stuck. Ow! 
I begin leaking. How the hell do I begin leaking? We could collect that asphalt and eat it. We're doing good damage. Seven damage? Wow, three times. We're piercing like crazy. I love it. We have a good axe. Wait, we have this member. So we have some points in axe as well. That's good. Let me, ch let me check that. Let's charge. Three spaces, huh? Great. Well, that's not that's not three. This is three. We dazed it and it died. Okay, that was charge. Interesting. Three spaces is not anything, though. Died of natural cause is probably the most legendary death you could have. It means you're the ultimate badass. Yeah, definitely. Or you're just a coward sitting in the corner and trying not to die all the time. Which is fine, too, I guess. Um, that's... That's murder spree. We dismember this thing. How can you dismember a glow pad? Oh, we use the helmet as well. Damn, that is a good helmet. That thing will help us. We use dismember. Don't know what that did. Wait, you chop off the sappy wet glow pad's left leaf. So we cut off leaves of that thing. And we gain a level. Well, that is kind of good. Uh, what is in here? We actually got the leaves. What do they do? Adds HP based effect to cook me. Oh yes, baby. D take him. Okay, we'll need to dismember more. Let's cook some meals, baby. They can't even do much damage to us. And we already have H uh, 20 HP at level 2. We had less last time. That was a good attack. Dismembered it. Dismembered it again, apparently. Damn, we're doing good damage. Thing to take. Sure, let's have some glow pad leaves. Oh god, croc. Uh, charge. Perfect space. Nice charge. I'm trying to figure out how people get lost in this game when there's a giant glowing spire visible from everywhere on the surface. <laughs> yeah, do you really... Oh, my, I mean, yeah, sure. Actually, that does make a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. How could you get lost? But maybe, you know, there could be... Um, there could be mountains in the way and stuff, so... That is a thing. So we charged... We hit three times for six damage with my wet battle axe. The croc begins bleeding. Oh, it also begins bleeding. That's pretty nice. And the croc is already dead. Wow. Uh, thing here. The music is a little loud, isn't it? I don't really enjoy the music that much sometimes. What is that? Growling? Game, please don't growl in my ear. That would be very nice of you. Okay, let's see if we have anything for skills. Wait, wasn't skills? There, perfect. P. Uh, we do have some X skills. We have X proficiency. We don't have cleave. We do have dismember. If you hit and penetrate, you dismember one of their limbs at random and they start bleeding. Uh, has a toughness save. Additionally, your X attacks that penetrate have a percentage chance to dismember. Pretty good. So with the dismember, if you use dismember, otherwise it's a percentage chance. Cleave, whenever you hit an opponent with an axe, there's a 50, 75% chance you cleave their armor, giving them a minus one penalty to AV. Penalty can stack a number of times, up to half your strength modifier. That's pretty good. I think axes are pretty nice. We need some more points for cooking and gathering, I think. Because I, I think cooking would help us much. We can we can dismember so much. Could do some good meals. We found another croc. Is the spire space elevator? As far as I know, yes. Then it's taller than any mountain. The space in which you can't see the spire can't be very, very big. If you're next to the mountain, it can be. 
You couldn't see it maybe next to a mountain. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me cut isn't realistic? Yeah, how dare how dare this game not be realistic? That's a croc. Crocky. Apparently Crocky left. Let's kill this fish. Did. So it gives us 25 XP, so why wouldn't we kill these fish? Dazed and dead. Is there a better way than just standing on top of them? Oh, there's the crocky. Uh, to... Did they kill the croc? Well, that's not fun, guys. That was my kill. And my XP. Is there a better way to take uh, take something? Because at the moment I'm, I'm just having to stand on them, press space and then 5 to the, for the tile underneath. It's kind of meh. Hey fishy, come here. I don't want to chase you down, but I will. Dead. Deep pool of salty water that way, move south again to enter it and start swimming. Sure. Necessarily want to swim. There's another level. Good. This time we can actually kill something. That's good. I'll swim through these. It's fine. We're dazing the glow pad. And we're just membering its face. Is there anything to explore? I mean, the croc is dead. Sadly, not through us. To our efforts. Uh, you want to die, okay. I'll swim and kill you, I don't care. I don't think a glow pad can do much to us with this character. Which hubris, obviously, will kill you, so be careful about that. Are you as well want to die? Wait, I can kill you from the other side easily. Good stuff. Yeah, no worry here. G forget. Yeah, but it doesn't really work sometimes, weirdly enough. To get something from an adjacent tile. Look at this. There's nothing to take. Because it probably doesn't want to take the corpse? Mm. Probably. Clopet refuses to speak to me. How dare it dismember that thing. Perfect. Cannot penetrate my armor or my... No, nah, my armor is not that high. We need a little bit better stuff. But I want the leaves to eat. Mm, I'm gonna eat your leaves. Uh, so far, so good. I'm not gonna get the other uh, glow pads. Oh, maybe... I probably fall out of stuff uh, soon anyway. Again, I don't think the glow pads can do much. Yeah, we're healing really fast. I like it. That's fine. Actually, a little bit hurt. Should be fine, though. Whoop. There's nothing much that can happen if you get damaged. Uh, as long as you don't die, of course. Nothing else to explore. Let's go further. We need to go to the east, find knickknacks. In the rust caves. Good luck, have fun. I mean, they work so hard to make their world internally consistent, yeah. And then they don't. <laughs> you need to be standing on the tile for G to work. Yeah, see, that's what I don't want. Why can I not take stuff from an adjacent? My regeneration is amazing at level 10. You are immune to decapitation. Ooh, immune? I mean, if you have two heads, probably not that much of a problem, but, you know, we can't. We can actually have two heads. Dragonflies are my bane here, and they're really bad to see in this one, in this tile set, sadly. Um, but we couldn't do much against them, is the problem. Just whip up a meal. You gather whatever you can find for your meal a dram of bygone congealed love injector, a noble giant fireflies antenna, uh, dragonflies, not firefly, and a dash of witchwood. Sure, let's just eat something, so we're sated. 
Because otherwise we're getting slowed down soon. Immune to decapitation is really nice. So the fish we can easily murder, so we should do that. Still gives us some XP. Yeah, 25, it's fine. So the glow pads would give us as much as well. And they are allied with the fish, so they get a little bit peeved if we kill them. Oh, they are so freakishly tanky though. But the fireflies should be fine with us if we're killing fish. Problem is that they are flying. If you don't have a ranged attack, it's really bad to attack them. Because you usually cannot attack back after they started flying, which is kind of annoying. Three, easy. Hubris, Gary, hubris. That's how you get killed. Yeah, G doesn't work. Oh, we actually take the glowfish corpse. Well, that's not what I want. Um... Eat it, no. Drop it. Okay. Okay. I didn't want it to weigh. I didn't want to weigh, that's bad. Um luckily the game stopped me. Well there doesn't seem much here. Oh there's a croc. Give me the croc. Croc could give us a little bit more XP than the rest. Oh don't get killed by the stupid glow pad, you Dumb crocodile, my god. Okay, we butcher the croc corpse. That's at least good. What a shitty crocodile. What happened? Bloody brackish water. Oh, we're just cleaning ourselves. Good kill. Got a critical hit. We were dazed by that thing. Wow. I think we have enough glow pad leaves the moment. Anything else? Nope, nothing to explore. Let's go further to the east then. I love how the visuals work in this game, you know, how seeing works in this game. Oh, well, that was easy. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Dead. They still give 25 XP, so we should use the this time. That was kind of bad. What happened there? Why would you stop resting? It can't reach you. I'm not sure what happened there. I mean, we could obviously... Ah, we got stuck in sugary salt. Sugary salt? Interesting. Probably because of some of their sap. It probably dazed us or something. One more. Can we get another level up? Perfect. Three hit points. Level four. That should be another mutation point. Sensory bud. This is different. Ooh, gives ego. And less reputation with flowers. Mm, that's fine. Uh, just get it. That is it. Your head regrows faster than you die from not having a head. It's like the gun broker in Men Black. But... Oh, really? <laughs> That's weird. But if you have two heads, you know, that would also work, right? Oh, I forgot we need to enable the new effect from the options. Oh. Where? Where is that? Is the question. Automatically disassemble scrap. I would like this actually to try this. Only show takeable. That would be nice. Use overlay inventory screen, trade screen. Exclude the UI from full screen camera effects. No. Show the minimap? I think so. 
What is the thing I need to enable? Should I wear? I, we have modern UI elements. And additional overlay user interface elements. You will get back to me, I bet. Um, so we got another level up. That means we have four... No, we have three mutation points. Damn it. We have another attribute point, though. This costs two. No, it costs one. What should we take? Not sure where it is. Ah, great. <laughs> well, that's a problem. But I guess if I go into strength, if I at level 6 get more stuff, it will just go over at plus 3. Do we need ego at all? Because if so, I should invest now. If it can make a difference for some things, like mental armor or something. Might be. I'm not sure what I should invest in. Intelligence would not necessarily do much, but... Toughness, maybe? Could be nice. Let's go into toughness. No, I'm gonna go into strength for now. I want the level 6 thing. Yeah, it's plus 3. Okay, we wouldn't have needed to do that, but it's fine. No, we could have started with 10 ego. Okay, well, that's fine. You live and you learn. Okay, I think we're done in this area. I could kill more of the fish. I don't care to right now. Which is... Oh god, what the hell is this? I didn't even see that. What's behind the thing? A sal salt hopper. Ah, you look different. And that thing is freaking scary. Yeah, it's still tough. Uh, I probably cannot... Oh, we could bask. I didn't do that. Did I get... When did I get bask? Oh, did we get photosynthetic skin? I didn't, don't remember. Maybe, maybe we did. Uh, can I run? Please sprint and run. Get some stuff back. Stop sprinting. Oh, sprinting is already off. Well, that's great. Um, that salt hopper is dangerous. I'm gonna try to heal a bit and then charge it. If I can ever see it again. Oh, it lost me. Well, that's bad. I'm still gonna charge the thing. Let's see how that goes for you, buddy. And now I'm dismembering it. That's nice. You chop off the right hind leg. That's nice. And he's bleeding. Oh, no. Don't tell me you are now hostile. No, okay, you're not. That was not good. We miss. With the helm and with the iron battle axe. But it did with rending mandibles. Not much damage, though. Oh, it helps me, actually. Uh, the flying uh, dragonfly here. Well, as long as I get the critical hit, no? Yes, I did. Okay. The bronze battle axe with the offhand, even. Ooh, is this thing disabled? Mm, its mobility is impaired. Which is fine. That means I can get away if I need to. I'm gonna dismember this again, unfortunately. Dazed and dead. And, mm, the dragonfly gained a level. Well, that's great. Thank you. Didn't need your help. Just saying. Give me that hind leg. You will probably taste wonderful. Yes. It'll taste wonderful. Well, that stupid fly. I think we are glowing right now, aren't we? Shouldn't it tell me? Because it is night. But we can still see. So it's probably because we pet the cat and it made us glow. Uh... This was a snap jaw. Ah. The bronze battle axe. 
And this is where we need to be because the sna- Oh god, not that snapshot, please. Uh, that thing is a little bit too high for me right now, I think. That was a bad idea to go there at night because everyone can see me. Because this Snapjaw is a warrior and that thing is a little bit stronger than the others. But here we get equipment from them. At least some starting equipment. Just remember that thing. Didn't work. She missed with her fist. Okay, Snapjaw takes one damage from bleeding. Yeah, I missed with my battle axe. Oh, that is so sad. The helm was cracked, but I think that's temporary, right? I think that is temporary. We missed with the helm. Uh, we hit with the helm, and we did 9 damage with the battle axe. Yeah, that... She is not in good health. Badly wounded. I think she's gonna die right now. Maybe one more. I got critted? Yep. I got a lot of hit, hit point damage right now. And I'm getting more and more. That's not fun. Uh, let's run. Okay, we'll heal a bit. Just heal a bit. And now we'll charge it again. Two spaces. Come on. There you go. Dead. <laughs> nice. Um, there's something to take. Woven tunic, bronze mace. Maces are okay. I think they can daze people if you use them. Yeah, cracked is fine. Okay, good. We have the cloth overall and the woven tunic gives us actually def uh, um, evasion. I mean, the maze does consistent damage, at least. It's, it would be better than the Bronze Battle Axe, because the Bronze Battle Axe can only do one damage sometimes. So, we have one Bronze Battle Axe. So, we should change it... Well, there's no dismembering, though. But it's fine. I think we still bring the maze, because that will con do consistent damage uh, at the very least. So, we'll do at least two damage with any of our weapons. That's good. And I think we should wait for morning. Can I bask in the night? There's no sunlight to bask in. Well, that's sad. Okay, things are moving. I'm just waiting right now. The dragonflies are luckily our friends. Oof, the night takes a while. Okay, there it is. Early morning, rise and shine. Let's see, there was another salt hopper there. There it is. Uh, that's too far. That is a strike that I can do, so let's do that. Because that thing is hostile, isn't it? Yeah. And tough. Tough Tuchus. Let's go. We critically hit four times for nine damage. Well, that was good. We cleave through the armor. The salt hopper begins bleeding. Two damage with the helm as well. That is really good. And it hits us with ten, with five damage. Ooh. It's not great, but still okay. Dismember it. We... Chopped off the right foreleg. Oh god. And now we're dead. That was a little bit more damage than I was expecting. Um... Oh, it died from bleeding. Oh my god, that's so lucky. What what do we see? Snapjaw scavenger to the east and stop resting. I don't know where. It must be far, far away. That was really lucky. <laughs> yeah, there's another scavenger. That's fine. Uh, let's just rest till fall. Perfect. Uh, I, do, I only lose a dismemberment on the off hand, not on the on the normal hand, so that's fine. I, I m mostly use the normal one anyway. Just a corpse, nothing left. There's a club. Club is a really bad maze, apparently. Well, hello there, buddy. 
How about we hit you in your face? And he's dead. Perfect. That's how I like it with the snap draws. Hit him in the face. Dismember. Absolutely dismembered his, his face. Nice. 10 more and I get an achievement. Yay. Sure, take the armor. Is the right hand edible? Actually, it is. I like dismembering. <laughs> it gives me stuff to eat. And the iron longsword. Hmm, that's a good one. Maybe for the offhand, we could take that. It does a lot of damage. It's definitely better than the mace. It's definitely better than the mace. I mean, in, on average, it does the same damage as the mace, but has better penetration, so that's good. I think we take that one. Oh, the forked helmet, because it is cracked. It cannot give me any armor. That is not nice. So we, we need to hope that this thing is fixed at some point. But I think it runs out on its own. The cracked effect. I really want to save now, but I can't. <laughs> oh, roguelikes. Why do we need to be so mean? Okay. Yes, I, I'm not resting. I'm just moving. I saw that thing. That's why I'm moving around instead of going through the stream. Don't ever cross the streams, guys. Boop. Dead. Slender first. Another battle axe. That's gonna be good money. That's gonna be good, good money. I am dazed. Well, that's not nice. How about I dismember your face? Apparently, I cannot. We missed. Every battle can be deadly, is the problem. Every little, little battle that we have. Let's bask in sunlight. Nice. More quickness is really good. And the natural healing rate up is even better. Yes, I know. Thank you. I, I see it. I didn't rest. I swear, I didn't. Can we... That's too far still. That is perfect. Dead. Just a corpse. Uh, dismember it. I couldn't. We need to break through the armor. You need to penetrate it to dismember, so... The minimap on the upper right is really nice. We discover Tokuva! A ruin. Well, that's nice. Julio. Anything useful? Just auto-explore. Ah, more salt hoppers. Oh, how I love them. Um, I don't want to fight that thing. I want a ranged weapon, please. <laughs> don't have a missile weapon. We need that gun. We need to go back to Joppa with the... Oh, what? Oh, that is a two-headed boar, I think, if I see that correctly. Two-headed boar. They are quite bad as well, but I think the Salt Hopper will win, but then it will be very weak. Nope, the boar won. Okay, I fought the boar and the boar won. Ah, I can't get him now. Okay, good. Nothing here. Sword Hopper didn't left believe anything. What is this? There's another thing coming. Rubble. Irregular volumes of stone are heaped together across the surface. Points of order poke sporadically through the pile of entropy. A status finger... Uh, statue's finger, the the nomen of sundial, a parcel of circuit board. I think we can we could get something out of this if we if we have something special, special skill which I might want. How strong are you? Mm, a bit. Dismember it. We dazed it as well, and we chopped off a tail. Mm. We'll probably eat that. Is that good? HP based, sure. Nom 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 nom. We're, f we're eating us through through cud. That's how this playthrough goes, guys. A lot better than the other one was so far. Um, just because we didn't have anything. There are stairs there, guys. There are stairs. I don't know if I want to go downstairs. But I mean, that's what we're here for, right? Ooh, that's a that's a jilted lover or something. No, 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 no. It's not a jilted lover. It's the other thing. They are bad. Those are plants that, you know, 
catch you and then um, squeeze you dry. It's not a jilted lover, it's a... Um, something... a kuzu or something? Weird. I guess we're there. Should we do this, guys? Oh, there are spideys. There's a chameleon. That looks a little bit beaten. No, it's perfect health. Okay. Ah, oh, it's two, two spaces. There it is. Eat this. That was a lot of damage, though. Ouch. Uh, dismember it. Not good enough. It does more damage to me, unfortunately. Damn, these things are strong. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm still bleeding. Okay, I'm good. Uh, and there's a lot of spidey webs. And apparently they are impossible to kill. Wow, that was a lot to destroy a single web. I am quite disgusted. There's no spidey, though. Oh, there's this plant again. Oh, God, no. I have no idea... Oh, God, we have to take a lot of sips of water for this. We don't have that much water this time. 28 only. I have no idea we, how we could get away from those, or get through those, rather. What's the worst that could happen? Well, we could, you know, um, dry up and die because of thirst in two seconds, apparently. There's a spidey. Just a cave spider. Average. So not easy to kill, but we'll try. Dismember it. Nothing to the What? Oh. Doesn't really want to fight us, apparently. What did we chop off? Nothing. Did. Just a corpse. Apparently we're leaking. You please not be leaking, bear head. Without a head. This thing, that's a kudzu? Kudzu, is it that? Kudzu. Matted fronts sway in the air uh, currents and speckle the ground with flakes of moisture sucked rust. You better kill those with a mind laser or with any ranged weapon you have, because if you go there, I think they catch you, right? And do a lot of damage? Oh, there's a lot of them. Everywhere around. What was that? I don't know what that was. I don't want to fight these plants down there in the left, but I have to. We'll die of thirst in here. Let's try to kill this thing. Misses you with their frond. Oh, they rust my gear. Yeah, that is probably not good. At least it missed me. So we don't want to fight these things. But we have to fight the plants. I don't want to. Yep. We gained a point. Your genome enters an excited state. Would you like to spend four mutation points? Yes, I want. Uh, we could grow wings. Interesting. And grow new body parts. So wings plus something. We could get corrosive ga gas, or we could get horns, but then we can't wear a helmet, so... Mm. Mm. I'd like the helmet for the moment. Because it's literally horns plus armor. What should we get? Hell yeah, wings? Never use them. You can, f you can fall clumsily to the ground if you start flying, so... But we can jump further. We can't jump. And we can charge further. That is good. That, we can, that, that is a good synergy. The charging. 20% movement speed while sprinting. 5% of falling clumsily to the ground. Reduced chance of becoming lost. 40%. Wow. While outside you may fly, you cannot be hit in melee by grounded creatures while flying. Which is good. Is the... No. No, the plant isn't, is doing ranged attacks, so... Well, let's try the wings. 
You've gained the ability to fly. You gained wings and an arm grows out of your right hand. How does that work? And also we can rapidly advance a mutation. What should we advance? So we we have a hand with an arm. How does that make sense? Now we're triple jointed, <laughs> I guess. Does that arm have another hand? So we could get give him a weapon and it would do things? Regen or wings? I think the best thing now right now would be regen, right? But I can only regen out of combat. So maybe just wings. I don't know what it does though. To rank four. We need to kill this though. Okay. So we're not dead yet. We had to drink a lot. Ouch! Twelve? <laughs> These things are brutal. So let's see what that did. So wings are level 4, but they can only be level 3 because of my level, I think it is. Yeah, due to your, le due to your level, only rank 3 is allowed. So it's now 48% reduced chance. We travel the world map with 3 times speed. Only 3% chance of falling clumsily, that's good. 40% movement speed while sprinting. And 3 squares extra charge. Ooh, that's nice. Is that only when we fly? Because we need... It's a choice to fly, so... When we fly, we get that charge? Remember your Witchwood bug? Well, that confuses me. I'm scared. I'm scared of con being confused. Birds like us more now. Hmm. And the other one is... More natural healing rate, regrow missing limbs, and remove a minor physical buff. It stays the same, okay. I'd like to advance this one. That would be nice now, because we didn't get this yet. Heightened hearing, increases chance to identify nearby detected reachers. Oh, it's not. No, the radius goes up a bit. Double muscled. Mm, better chance to daze, but the strength stays the same. Night vision you cannot advance. The skin. So we get 40% natural healing if we do this, and 17 quickness. Quickness is really good. And 1 DV while occupying the same space as foliage. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So we need to put a cut in here. I don't know if we survive the next one, so we'll see. Thank you all for watching. Leave me a like if you like something if you haven't. Follow me on Twitch and come to the Discord. It's a really dangerous time for us in these caves, but it can also give us a lot of good things. I don't want to see these plants ever again, though. So, I guess... We'll see in the next one if we can find a knickknack for Argive, go back, get that freaking rifle, and get some slugs, and then just murder everything because we will be amazing. And also what the hand means. We'll look at that in the next one. Thank you all, and bloop bloop.